Hey, how's it going? So today, we're going to look at Medusa. It's got, on the upper part of the playfield, it has uh, little tiny zipper flippers. Um, which, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that Medusa is the last uh, solid state game to have zipper flippers. So, that's cool. Um, so, the, the right flipper is binding and I'm not really sure what's going on with it. So I thought, might make a fun video. We'll dig in there and we'll, we'll see the mechanism, we'll see how it works, and we'll see why it's not working. <laughs> All right, we'll start a game and I'll show you what it's, what it's doing here. Get it. So up here, that, that looks okay. This one, doesn't really work. And the weird thing, it like binds, it stops there, which is kind of strange. Stick, stick, you can hear it knocking on something. So I don't know what's causing that. Let's, uh, let's tear it apart. So these are the zipper flippers in Medusa here. Uh, this is the one we're having the problem with. It, it, it seems like the problem is in the coil itself because it's hitting something there. This is the one where we have the full range of motion there. So if I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess that that coil stop is busted off in there, so something funky. So we'll pull that off, we'll take a look at it. Look at it. Um, but this is how this mechanism, how these zipper flippers work. So the, the flipper post that goes up is here and here. So they go together. There's a big solenoid right down here. And when it fires, when that solenoid fires, it pulls this in. This little catch right here locks it in place. These two come together. And then when your zipper flipper session is over, this little solenoid here fires, pulls this back, and they, they go back apart. That's how that mechanism works. Um, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> All right, let's, let's tear this apart and see, uh, see what's going on with that guy. So I got to putting the video together and I, I forgot to add this one little thing that I wanted to add. I don't usually ask people to subscribe and to like the videos. I figure you're gonna do that if you want to but we're really close to hitting the 3,000 subscriber mark, which is kind of fun because, you know, it's just my little channel that I'm doing things on and, and making the little videos on fixing the stuff. So uh, it's kind of fun to, to get to that point. So if you haven't subscribed yet uh, and you want to help the channel out, hitting subscribe, let's push it over the 3,000 mark. That'd be kind of fun, yeah? Three. Okay, anyway, back to whatever I was doing. Okay, I got the coil off of it. Uh, the coil is actually fine. There's no problems there. I thought it might be the coil stop, um, but this actually looks perfectly normal. So I'm like, okay, what could possibly be going on with this? Now look at how low this is. I didn't notice it from this angle, uh, but when I got to the other side of the machine, I figured it out. So look at this one where it sits. At its resting place, it sits up against this. This has gotten kind of out of whack and it doesn't, go all the way up. So really the only problem with this is it's sort of shifted over time and or it was maladjusted at some point. I don't know. It was working, but it looks like all I need to do is just actually readjust where this sits. So this this needs to go all the way back up to hit this little section, this little stop right here. These are so long and I'm going to have to look at it and see if these are the right um, the right flipper parts on here. Everything else in this machine is the linear type actu actuator guy for flippers, this thing. So I don't know if it's supposed to have something like that. Um, it actually looks like it has a screw hole here and here. I'm just gonna have to look that up. This might, might not be the right part, but these parts work fine. This side works fine. This side was working fine. We just need to fix it. So all we need to do is adjust this little guy right there and then we'll put it back together again. But these, these shafts are so long, what's going on is when it's sitting in this position, it only has this range of movement before it comes down and hits that coil stop, which sits right about there. 
so you don't have a whole lot of room to move. All right, uh, I'm gonna put the coil back on and then uh, we'll adjust this. I just spent five minutes looking for my stupid screwdriver. It, it was in here. <laughs> I set it right there next to the screws and the, uh, and, and the coil stop. Where the hell is my screwdriver? It's here. Come on, it's a game of Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? There's Waldo. Stupid screwdriver. This is a little free floating right there. <laughs> For the slingshot, I think we should probably fix it. Those look okay. There's screws in here somewhere because they have fallen out. Three of them. I don't know. Oh! Dropped it. Yeah, I dropped them both. Hold, please. Of course, I, I dropped the first screw, and it goes into this crazy drop target thing. And then I dropped the second one, and it hit here and bounced under there. And that's really where you don't want screws to be under. Where are you, little screw? There it is. No, come back. Great. Let's try that again. Okay, so I think I talked about these type of thingies before. Uh, to adjust this flipper, there's a hex bolt here and then there's one on another side. For this one, we're just going to loosen those up. Can you see? Where am I pointing? There we are. Uh, we're just going to loosen those up and then we'll set the flipper so that it hits along here. Uh, and then we'll tighten those up and that should be good to go on this. Great. So we've got this adjusted. Uh, the, the flipper is seated all the way down on the play field. And then this in resting state, this spring pushes it all the way back up to this little stop right here. That should give us full movement now. We were in here, so I want to check my end of stroke switches and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, and they are. We, uh, I always like to check those when I work on flippers because if you uh, if you gap them a little bit too much, your flipper is going to be wacky, and if if they don't separate out like they are supposed to, then you're going to need a new coil. So, uh, and then this side looks all okay. I think you can see that. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's put this thing down and uh, we'll check everything. I love these drop targets on this game. It's got um, it's got seven drop targets. And you knock this one down and these two come up, you knock those down. It, it, it's just a cool, I love drop targets anyway, but they're really, really cool in this game. And as I can see on this, uh, I need to clean this whole game. <laughs> those drop targets are filthy. <laughs> I actually want to do a video because this machine has nothing, it, it's all incandescent lights in here and it gets quite hot. And I'd like to change this over to LED. I want to do uh, there's there's a couple LEDs up here, but for the most part, it's all uh, incandescent. So I would like to do a video where I can see what the draw on this game is using incandescent, so we'll convert it over to uh, LCD, and then we'll see what kind of uh, wattage draw it has after that. I think that would be really interesting to do. I've always wanted to do it, but there's an especially large amount of lights in this. I probably will not do those up there. Um, 
just because when we put LEDs in there, they won't have kind of that fluid motion. So I'll leave those in place. Um, but all of the ones in here, I think I'll do all up in LED. All right, enough talk. Let's see if we fixed our problem. Right Flipper flipper. Lines. Good. Okay. So much better. That's, uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, see, watch this drop. Watch what these do. Down, down, then three, then four. Five, six, and then all seven of them. And as you do that, uh, this little bar builds and builds and builds. Conquered. Yay, we did it. We're good when we cheat. Okay, so that was really simple. I'm glad that that's all it was. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more exciting, like the coil stop was wedged in there or something. We had a little drama instead of like, hey, dum dum, your flipper's not aligned right. But it, that's all it was, hey, dum dum. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, and I need to clean this machine. <laughs> uh, I think I will do a little of that right now while I have the glass off of it. So that's pretty much it for this. Um, I'm still working on Valhalla. Um, American Pinball got back to me and they said that they're, they're pretty sure that if you have any of, any of those flaky optos up in the boat, um, they're, it's going to cause the problems that we're seeing. So uh, I'm getting new optos in and when I get those in, we'll swap those out. Um, I did look at the opto board and it did not appear to be that. So uh, everything looked fine, everything tested fine on that. It's a pretty straightforward, just sort of a matrix input board. There's nothing complex to it. And the guy at American Pinball actually said, I, yeah, it's probably not the opto board either. So we'll dig into that. Um, and then Roadshow is offline right now. Roadshow, Roadshow. Because um, I, I swapped out the eyeball uh, or the eyelids in um, red and uh, I need to do the ones in Ted, but then I noticed that the little bulldozer thing in front of Ted's mug uh, wasn't registering right. And I opened it up and I looked in there and there was just a spring kind of hanging there. <laughs> so uh, I need to take uh, Ted's head all apart anyway, and I'm gonna do a video on that because it's going to take a little bit more uh, than working on red to get into Ted. So we'll show that. We'll pull his head off. Uh, we'll pull his face off. We'll get in there. We'll fix the, the little um, thing that goes in front of his face. We'll fix that and everything. And then that will be able to go back online. Um, yeah, so I think that's the end of my video. Super quick, super easy fix at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>